Kuma's backstory has been absolutely insane so far, and with the way things are going, it might end up as one of the best in all of One Piece. For starters, Kuma's backstory is right up there with Robins and Laws in terms of being absolutely heart-wrenching. Like, this scene right here is one of the hardest hitting in the whole series. He just found out his mother was gone. He was questioning his own existence, and his dad was just trying to cheer him up just for this to happen. Then we cut to God Valley, one of the most anticipated moments in One Piece history. Literally everyone important is here. The Rocks Pirates, Roger Pirates, Garp, the Gorosei, Holy Knights, I could go on and on. Kuma and his comrades plan to use the prize double fruits to escape and this man comes face to face with the likes of Big Mom and Saturn. Despite this, he's somehow able to eat the pawpaw fruit and save around 500 people. He is him. We're left off with Kuma living a peaceful life with Ginny, but this is Kuma we're talking about. Obviously, things will take a turn. Despite all he's been through, Kuma's one of the kindest characters we've seen, but as we know, he becomes a ruthless tyrant, so what's gonna be the build-up to this? I'm guessing it's a propaganda-based title because if this won't turn him to a villain, I don't know what will. 